Hello YouTube, it's me, Mr. Lawless, and uh, I want to talk to you guys today about something really important. I know I usually do comedy, ignore the mask. The problem is the mainstream media is not doing their job no more, so I feel like I have to fill in and do their job for them. Hey, mainstream media. Okay, so looky here, this is what's going on. Our First Amendment is now being attacked. Um, the Patriot Act attacked the Fourth Amendment. Uh, the NDAA attacked the Sixth Amendment. And now the H.R. 347 is attacking our First Amendment, our right to assemble and protest. Uh, basically what's happening is the House just passed a bill called H.R. 347. Only three House members voted against it. One congressman, which was a particular and distinguished gentleman patriot, Ron Paul, voted against it, as always. So consistent. God bless you, Ron Paul. H.R. 347 is uh, basically a bill that says that you cannot protest where there's a candidate, a potential presidential candidate. Um, basically, what happens is anywhere that Secret Service is protecting someone, they can now arrest you for protesting. Uh, they don't even have to tell you to move back. They don't have to give you the option to leave. They just arrest you. Up until this point, according to Dan Bongino, who is uh, an ex-Secret Service, what they would actually do is they would ask you to move back. If you were in a zone where it was dangerous for the candidate, they would just ask you politely to move back. If you complied, no big deal. Not anymore. So, like the Moon Man video I did and the, uh, the, the Sheeple video I did at Mitt Romney, they literally could arrest me if this passed. I mean, we no longer can protest. And this is very dangerous. Not only is it an assault on our First Amendment, this is actually putting the candidates in a larger bubble to where they no longer have dissent. They can no longer, longer see dissent in front of them. And this is absolutely insane. It's like they're trying to insulate them uh, from anybody that could, you know, persuade them to change their mind about anything th through actually protesting. Um, very strange. Very strange. And, and it's an accelerated, accelerated rate that they're attacking our, our Constitution and our uh, individual liberties. I mean, the Patriot Act is pretty much, you know, Bush's big thing, that the ding on our, our liberties, our civil liberties. Uh, but under Obama, under the last six months, we've had SOPA, PIPA, H.R. 347 now, the NDAA, and to be honest, the Expatriation Act. I can't keep up. I mean, it wears you out just trying to keep up with this stuff. So uh, please do your research. H.R. 347, Ron Paul did vote against it. And this is huge. This is huge. You no longer can protest. Occupy should be very concerned about this. The Tea Party should be very concerned about this. They're trying to shut us up. They don't want you to have a voice anymore in the public square is what it boils down to. This, I tell you, we have two things left. We can assemble and peacefully protest, and we have the Internet where we can get the truth out. And both are under extreme attack right now. This may be our last election that we can actually have open dialogue and honesty where the MSM isn't just completely controlling everything with government propaganda. So, uh, it's very important. Lull us out.